again, I, I, I get on air and I try to not get mad. And when I say these women look sexually excited, what I mean is like, you know, Miss America, you know, how they'll jazz up, look excited, uh, you know, how, you know, you'll see women on the street corner trying to look exciting or whatever to get, to get picked up. It's that same energy. Uh, they just look excited. They look like they're enjoying it. It's, it's fun. You know, they're shaking their hair around. We're not worried about Putin. Uh, we're going to deal with it. It's for the children. And they just are getting off on the power. It's the narcissism is what I'm talking about. You know, the, uh, the you know, sexy woman, I'm in charge. I'll show you. And it, Obama's got a peace prize. That's what I'm saying. Kind of like Mika Brzezinski, uh, Whenever I had Russell Brand on, you know, he agreed that the, the, the women were getting excited on the show. And no one else pointed that out. I was pointing that out. That it's just like they're up there excited to be on TV. And I get being excited because you're on television, but how is it like a power trip is what I'm saying. And it's like with, with women particularly, I've noticed that join the dark side, it's like they're, it's like a sexual evil. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like it's the same vibe they put out as they're doing evil things. They're getting off on it. It's like some wicked thrill. I'm psychoanalyzing it. And, you know, that's from my perspective. You know, I, no one knew what uh, Only God Forgives meant. And I got the director on, and he basically said, yeah, no one's gotten it. That's what the movie means. And he was blown away. I'm not tooting my horn. I just recognize things that other people don't seem to recognize for whatever reason. And it makes me very sick uh, when we see things like this. Now, now I'm not going to play the whole exchange, but here is Christina Amanpour, who helped sell the attack on the Serbs that was all a fraud to put the Muslim extremists in to take them down. Uh, let's, let's go to a short clip of her going out to break. I, I can barely contain myself at this point. How many more times do we have to say that weapons of mass destruction were used. And as bad as it is to decapitate somebody, it is by no means equal. We can't use this false moral equivalence about what's going on right now. They tried to do it in the Second World War, they tried to do it in Bosnia, they tried to do it in Rwanda, and they're trying to do it now. There is no moral Meanwhile, equivalence. Meanwhile, they did it. And the president and the, wait just a second. She gets real excited here in a minute. So it's going, uh, uh. Oh. Once his oh. his ally and his she needs this I'm blood. So she needs the blood. Exactly. I, no, no. And she right needs Al Qaeda. That is not the I am Al Qaeda. Meanwhile, Al Qaeda did the chemical attack. She's blaming their forces for everything that happened. We'll be right back. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. CNN uh, propagandist Amon Poor demands moral intervention in Syria. And, and what I want our crew to do a story on is when she worked for the British press, she was involved putting out the fake story that was originally generated, what, on ITN with the guy behind the barbed wire trying to get into a UN food center who had tuberculosis. She's like, look at the man in the camp. It's the Nazis. I mean, the, 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 she knows she's up there lying. She knows Al-Qaeda launched the attacks. She knows they're going to butcher all the Christians. They know they want to deindustrialize and implode Syria. They know they want to bring down and put the jihadis in control of Egypt. They know, and she's up there going, we must do it. I can hardly talk. I'm so upset. And then she's up there trying to be a, an actress, and it's just such a joke, lying to their viewers. Unbelievable. Nigel Farage, this clip's coming up, confronts EU communist Barroso over global warming hoax. That's absolutely imploding right now. Very important report. War is coming. Ten reasons why a diplomatic solution in Syria crisis is extremely unlikely. Russia to expand Mediterranean fleet to ten warships. We've already got, what, seven there with the... Uh, 
carrier killer arriving a couple days ago. I mean, this is getting serious. California lawmakers approved measure to allow driver's license for illegal immigrants. Let me give you a little news flash. They already do that. DMV in Texas gives it to them, too. Look, and again, I'm nothing against the illegals. A lot of them are actually hardworking, good people. But a generation or two after being there, just like everybody else's kids, black, white, I don't care. They are absolutely dependent, spoiled, rotten brats on average, just like white people and black kids. Uh, I mean, it is unbelievable what the culture and the media here does to people. Uh, and I wouldn't have a problem with 30 million illegals here if it was the kind of, uh, you know, uh, cowboy hat, gun-loving, freedom-loving, family-loving type hardworking people that come up here from Mexico. But within a generation, it's absolute Communist Party. White people are all racist and bad. My guns are evil. Uh, El Norte is Mexico's. All Ford Foundation globalist garbage. And uh, it's, it's the kiss of death. It's how the globalists plan to finally bring in the voting bloc to bring this country down. Hey, can I go to Mexico and have a free baby? Can I go to Mexico and become a citizen or get a uh, driver's license like that? No, I can't. I can imagine walking into a Mexican hospital saying, I'm here to have my baby paid for. They'd say, actually, we're going to arrest you and throw you in jail until the police suck every dime out of your family. By the way, we're going to knock your teeth out too, gringo. <laughs>
has got a peace prize. That's what I'm saying. Kind of like Mika Brzezinski. Uh, whenever I had Russell Brand on, he, you know, he agreed that the, the, the women were getting, you know, you'll see women on the street corner trying to look exciting or whatever to get to get picked up. It's that same energy. Uh, they just look excited. They look like they're enjoying it. It's it's fun. You know, they're shaking their hair around. We're not worried about Putin. Uh, we're going to deal with it. It's for the children. And they just are getting off on the power. It's the narcissism is what I'm talking about. You know, the uh, the you know, sexy woman, I'm in charge. I'll show you. And it's Obama. Again, I, I, I get on air and I try to not get mad. And when I say these women look sexually excited, what I mean is like, you know, Miss America, you know, how they'll jazz up, look excited, uh, you know, how...